Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica from YixRS and today we're doing a surprise grocery haul. And when I say surprise, you know what that means. That means Nelson went grocery shopping. I gave him a list and uh, he came back with that and more. So it's always a surprise. Today he only went to TNT and he came back with something like five bags of groceries. I really just needed some vegetables and some tofu and I think I said um, fruits. That was the other thing. And he came back with a huge variety of products, some of which I've never worked with before. So it's going to be definitely a very interesting couple of weeks for food and dinner prep and whatnot. Um, so here we go, let's get this started. As you can see, there's tons and tons of goodies and I am, I have expected some of it and some of it is completely unexpected. So where shall we start? You know what? Let's just move down this way. We'll pan across this way. So the first thing he got were uh, cookies. <laughs> These are the TNT um, brand of the egg rolls. So he got the flat ones and he got the rolled up ones. I personally like the flat ones more than the rolled up ones. I just think they taste better and I find them a like they're they're flakier but less crumbly. I don't know if that makes sense. It doesn't taste like crumbs, but they taste flaky, which is nice. So I do like these ones more than this one. Geneva loves them. She loves snacking on them. Nelson loves them. Nathaniel hasn't had them yet, but that's that. So you got two cases of. Did you buy two because they were on sale? This was not on the list, by the way. They were on sale. They were on sale. Okay, so was everything that you went ahead and bought on sale? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so how much were these each? Uh, eight ninety nine. Each. Yeah, yeah, normally they're twelve. Really? No, that's the only like the super luxe brand. Aren't no. these normally like six ninety nine? No. Okay, apparently it's eight ninety nine is now a deal on these. Wow, I think that's expensive, but okay, that's okay. The luxe ones are like fifteen and up. Oh, I see. All right, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so then he also got two packages of this white back black fungus. I've never cooked with this before. My father in law talks about this a lot. Apparently, it's really good for um fiber <laughs> and um i know that when i was little my parents just would make this for me and they would make steamed chicken with i think lap chum, which is a type of chinese sausage so i guess i'm going to do that and figure out some other recipes to make with this he did buy two packs of mushrooms um they're both tnt brand they're both the same size so were they different price or are they just different packaging um one says Dried white shiitake. Oh, okay. Which is the more expensive one. Oh, I see. The other one is says dried shiitake. Oh, I see. Which is the cheaper one. So this one was cheaper and this one's more expensive. What was the price point? The white yeah. one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Good. 20 bucks. $18. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. And then the dried ones, six ninety nine. The cheaper one? Yeah. No, they are $14. Wow, that's still really expensive. I thought I saw them on there for like six ninety nine. Sure, they are the cheaper ones, but you always get the most more, more expensive ones. Not always. For he, dried mushrooms, yes. Okay, sure. I for dried mushrooms, but you can. I think that you can tell that this one is also it should be more expensive because you see more of what my grandma used to call these flowers, like faman. Now, uh, apparently, if they have more of that, they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So these should be more flavorful. We did buy like uber cheap mushrooms one point, and they were so bad. They just tasted burnt, and I couldn't. I couldn't even serve them. They were that bad. So we don't buy the cheapest dried mushrooms anymore. We kind of do like midpoint. There's some really pricey ones that the, for the shiitake mushrooms, and we didn't. We don't do that obviously, but we kind of do like a midpoint one. So twenty dollars for the package. Like yeah, it's still pretty pricey, but that's okay he do have two things of sauces this is the lake um gay okay, black bean garlic sauce and then the korean barbecue sauce i think he bought these probably a they probably were on sale b we're running low on garlic we haven't been able to find a good deal on garlic so we're running low on garlic he likes black bean i like black bean ribs every now and then that's really tasty but the korean sauce i did ask for korean barbecue sauce but uh, the one that we normally get has MSG, and I think he's trying to stay away from MSG. And so he ended up getting Oh, well, that's true. The ones that I normally get, I can't find anymore. So the one, the substitute that I got has MSG. And because Nathaniel's starting to eat more of our food now, my son steals food out of my mouth. Like he'll just grab my spoon and throw it put into his mouth if he can reach it. So he is eating more of our food. So I do want to make sure that he eats things without MSG in it. So were they on sale? Two for seven something. So uh, these are fresh tofu. I asked for tofu because we look like to cook for to with tofu every now and then. These were free because of the size of the, the, the haul. Um, 
Um, basically, they were having a promotion this week that if you spend over $99, you get a box of disposable kids mask, which comes in handy as well. And then, yeah, you're going to see tons of oranges. We kind of went nuts. These are our absolute favorite Mandarin oranges. They are so delicious. These are the orange ones. I've talked about these before. These are the Israeli ones. We bought one from somewhere else one time, and they were not nearly as good. These have not ever failed us. These have never failed us yet. And so you end up buying, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six packages of the Ori's, and they were on sale for $1.99 a pound. The most expensive I've ever seen them, I think, was like $4.99 a pound. So $1.99 yay it's good and these will go really quickly because once nelson starts one of these he can't stop he loves them um and then we did buy some of the bigger oranges too and these are supposed to be large sweet oranges um, these were 88 cents a pound so you can definitely see the price point difference but these are so sweet so delicious that yeah but we got a mix we got a mix just for some some variety uh we also got two packages of panko what the pen was the panko on sale honey yes Excellent. Good. Yay. So I have made up this new recipe for par pork katsu. So delicious. So easy to make. And part of it is half of the ingredients is the panko. I don't even have to deep fry it. I just pan fry it. And it's like insane crunch factor. So we had that a couple times already this week. And we'll probably make it again because it's so good. But we also probably want to try it with like chicken or even uh, tofu. But this is this is regular tofu. You would need firm tofu for that, but that's okay. Um, for the future, because I mean, panko lasts for a very, very, very long time. We got a bunch of Chinese veg. This was the main reason why I needed him to go to TNT because the Chinese veg at our local no frills is ridiculously priced. So he got three packages of the mini bok choy sprouts. These are good because they're really easy, really handy. Throw them in soups or put them in the stir fry. Delicious garlic done so easy so good uh, and then he also got two packages of the uh yao choy which these are the smaller ones so they're the younger ones so they're kind of um they, they, they're i find them that it's like the flavor is milder and also um they're less chewy so ginevra likes that a lot more only two of those ones because these two do tend to go uh bad faster so our order of eating we're probably eating these before these these will last us a bit longer here he got i have never ever ever cooked with this before the goji berries i have used i can infuse these into teas um or i can put this into soup apparently these are really good for your eyes but these are some goji berries i have used these before what made you decide to buy black goji berries i've never ever i've never even heard of these before I actually thought these were peppercorn at first, so apparently not. So uh, I want to do some research. If you have any ideas on what to do with these, please let me know in the comment section because I literally, I've, I've never even heard of these. He did get two things of the uh, garlic. I think these are the purple variety, which is the one that I like more because they tend to be a little bit juicier and sweeter tasting. Um, they were not at a good price. They were two for dollar fifty, so they worked out to be seventy five cents each. However, still cheaper than no frills, which was seventy seven cents for one and they were the regular ones but these ones um if they are the ones that i had last time they are really good this was on sale i think this was like 9.88 this is the crispy shredded dried pork floss oh my gosh this stuff is so delicious not healthy but so delicious you can put this on rice you can put this on kanji you can put this on a sandwich Never really had it on a sandwich, but you could probably could. Or you can make a roll, a rice roll out of this and put some on this on. It's so good. Or you can even just eat a sprinkle of it from your palm of your hands. It is delicious. Nelson says peanut butter sandwich with pork floss. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Did I try it that time? Yes. Apparently, I did try the whole peanut butter and pork floss sandwich. I don't remember it. And he said I liked it. So I guess it was good, but we could always try it again. The pork floss. So we we bought this a few years ago, and um, it lasts us for a really long time. And this is good until twenty twenty two. So it's gonna last us a good year. Thing that was a surprise is he bought meat. I don't know why he bought meat. We have so much protein right now, and I don't know why you bought more more protein, honey. Why'd you buy more protein? Okay. Doesn't matter. We still have so much protein. So he bought the pork. pork shoulder, but. Um, this is good for roasts and things. And then he bought a pork belly, which is so good. It's so fatty. Look at that fat. Uh, but we can make our own uh, siu yolk out of it, which is like a roasted pork. 
and it is really delicious. He bought two packages of the Korean style sweet potato vermicelli. Um, this stuff is really yummy because it keeps its texture. It doesn't really go all goopy. Has, uh, I've, I've made this before and I've used it for a cold noodle and that was really good. Or we put these in soups and braises and stuff a lot. So he ha got both the thick variety and the thin variety. And then he also got a box of cornstarch. I've been actually learning different ways to use cornstarch, including using cornstarch in my baking using cornstarch um you know in breading and stuff like that and so we've been using a lot more cornstarch wasn't on sale but it was something that I needed to get now one two three four five this I am really happy with because he got some really great produce deals um with at TNT so TNT does have a clearance rack section for produce and usually it's not this great of a haul like last time I did talk about some other things that we got but this time I am so impressed so he got two packages of peppers and these are still in really good shape like it's quite firm for two dollars and fifty cents which is decent because I mean I think that I've been seeing them for four dollars and they're even the smaller kind so four peppers for four dollars so this is definitely a good deal I'm also trying to grow my own peppers this this summer so we'll see how that goes so we got he got two packages of that so some orange ones and some yellow peppers which will be delicious you can you, there's just so many things that you can do with peppers you can even freeze these if you want to we froze we froze peppers before and it lasted us for you know like months and months and months in the freezer so you can definitely freeze them if you want to just pre-cut them to the what you want they, the, the texture does change a bit so be aware be aware of that but it is very freezeable then he got <laughs> these english cucumbers don't really know what we're going to do with it uh, they kind of look kind of sad so we're going to have to pro uh, process and eat these pretty quickly or i could try to make i don't know a quick pickle out of it i don't know so i'm gonna look up some cucumber recipes to see what i could do oh i can make the smashed cucumber salad that's really yummy and i can put the vermicelli in it that would be good hmm an idea but yeah so this was super cheap because normally even on sale they're either a dollar each or like two for a dollar fifty so he got one two three four five five for a buck it's like 20 cents each it's really awesome so you got a bag of potatoes for a really good price all of this for a dollar fifty there has to be at least like seven to eight pounds of potatoes in here and these are huge so it'd be great for baking or just regular cooking and then this was amazing the tomatoes have been at an insane price these tomatoes are two dollars and fifty cents for the entire bag they've been like two dollars a pound or even 250 a pound and just the other day i went to no frills and the, the tomatoes were horrible shape it had mold and stuff and they never i never see them that bad there before so these are actually in better shape and they were so much cheaper and so i want to process these like i mean you can tell that they are the i have to process them quickly because they do have some brown spots so we're going to have to use these up and maybe make a sauce and freeze it but hey i'm really happy so overall at all this haul how much was it honey did you spend no 150 no 200 yep. oh my god this is a 200 dollars worth of groceries that's a lot that's more than what I thought it would be. This two hundred. Oh yeah, I guess the Oreo oranges was was quite pricey there too. So I guess it does make sense. About two hundred dollars worth of groceries. You should have separated into two, two things and gone two boxes of masks. <laughs> Frugal me, but that's okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this relatively quick haul, quick and expensive haul. He did get some good things, got some protein, some really good deals on produce. I'm really happy with that. So if you enjoyed this haul video, make sure you let me know. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I post every Wednesdays and sometimes I have a bonus video that comes out on Sundays. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!